is my absolute pleasure to introduce to all of you the American Chamber's first honoree this evening, Marita Cheng. Hi everyone, how's it going? Yeah, I don't really wear these dresses very often, so that's why I kind of tripped on the stairs on the way up. Heels, long dresses, I don't know how people handle that. So thank you for having me here tonight and giving me this award that I think, I think Craig was meant to give this to me. <laughs> but he just left it on the leg turn, so I think I'll just take it home. It's got my name on it. So, as Craig mentioned, I've been working on building a robot for the past couple of years. It's called Teleport, and it's a telepresence robot. Does anyone know what a telepresence robot is? Can you raise your hand? Okay, I see that the Tasmanians know. Well done. So, a telepresence robot enables people to be in multiple places at the same time. So you could be here physically in New York and have a robot in Sydney, in Melbourne, Brisbane, in Hobart. And so even though you're living and working here, you can just pop on to your computer, log into a robot and drive it around, have meetings over there, uh, see people over there, uh, go to engagement parties, go to weddings, go to lots of events over there without actually taking the flight in order to get there. And so the other use cases, so the other use cases for it are like kids in hospital with cancer can go to school even while they're uh, getting treatment in hospital. People with uh, disabilities or in rehab can continue go to the, going to work even while they're in hospital. Uh, CEOs, corporations, co-working spaces, they can have their staff collaborate more easily across the world uh, using these robots. So our robot's really cool. It can be as high as 1.7 meters tall. And so uh, people say, oh, my, well, my friends say that I only created it so that people who haven't met me yet think that I'm taller than I actually am, because I'm really short. And it can be lo as low as 1.1 meters tall, so it's really easy to throw away in the back of your car. So we started shipping these robots in November last year. And, um, and another thing that's really cool about our robot is that it's modular. So basically, you can take the head off our robot and put a new head on. And so that's why like, we're working on virtual reality, we're working on navigation, we're working on robot arms. It's because it's so easy to take our robot apart and give it new features. And so one of the new heads that we've been working on that we started prototyping last month is this one here. It's, uh, we've been working on giving it some social abilities so that it can have simple conversations with people in retail stores, or you can put it at your grandma's house and the robot can keep your grandma company by having simple conversations with it. So I've taken Sharon here to New York with me, and because Sharon comes from Australia, uh, we actually call her Shazza. And so the other use case. G'day all, I'm Shazza, how are you going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. So, um, yeah, how's it going, Shazza? Mate, it's grouse. It's been a beaut of a day. So, what have you been doing today, Shazza? I've been taking a squiz at the big smoke. Bloody oath. And uh, how are you finding the weather here, Shazza? Shazza? I gotta tell ya. It's bloody cold out there. My jump has been as useful as an ashtray on a motorbike. So, do you have anything to say about the American Australian Association, Shazza? They're a bunch of real top blokes and sheilas. Dead set legends. Yeah, I think so too. So, um, they're serving some pretty good Australian food tonight. How, how are you finding the food? Shazza? Yeah, it was some bloody good tucker, but 
If you ask me, just chuck some shrimp on the barbie and keep the VB coming. And did you hear about the open bar tonight, Shazza? Shazza? Fair dinkum, I'll be off my face quicker than a cut snake. So I've brought you all the way to the Big Apple, to New York City, in America. Um, I guess you're making the most of your time here, Shazza? I've had a ripper time, though. I gotta say, I'm looking forward to heading back to the lucky country. And what do you think about our teleport robot, Shazza? I reckon. I don't want to be a spooker, but it's marvelous. I can be out whoop whoop and still go a waltzing Matilda through Central Park. I'm glad you like it, but, you know, we've actually been adding a whole lot of new features recently, Shazza. Stoked. What have you got for me? Well, we actually made our robot brain controlled, so you can see in this video here. I'm Anthony, I'm 36 years old. I had a character that went on six years old. I break my spine to go to the highest level. And I can still use my brain, I can still talk. So it might sound that I'm pretty incapacitated, but if you only, th if you only think of the good things, not too bad at all in all. And this bar down here is the attention, so the amount you're concentrating. Right. As long as you bring it over that threshold bit, yep. it's going to activate it and it's gonna move forward. So all you have to do is think, and once you get past it, mm. the robot will move. Mm. So you just made the robot move with your brain. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So cool. There you go. <laughs> I turn my head, but I just turn the robot. Can I get out there? Then you're never gonna know what exists, so it's an amazing world to an amazing place. Well, I've never really got anything to move more my brain. So that was pretty unbelievable in that sense. Cause on a big high actually achieving it. Didn't actually think I'd be able to do it. Okay, well that's all I've got, so see y'all. Marita Chang, everybody!